can Chip Kelly repeat his success at UCLA? Now, Chip Kelly was introduced as a new Bruins head coach on Monday, ushering in the most anticipated era of football in the school uh, in recent memory. Now, Bruins athletic director Dan Grill said, quote, to land an individual like Chip Kelly's uh, caliber is pretty special for UCLA, especially considering he was the most sought-after coach out there, end quote. Now, Kelly is the fourth football coach uh, that has been hired at UCLA by Dan Guerrero, the athletic director, but none of the first three, including Carl Doral, Rick Neuheisel, and Jim Mora, ultimately worked out. Uh, most of those coaches were barely over 500. Now, this time, the buzz is obviously a little bit different. Former Bruins head, uh, excuse me, former Bruins quarterback Troy Aikman, who was a part of the hiring c- committee for UCLA, called Kelly, quote, the greatest hire in UCLA history. Now, Kelly has compiled a 46 and 7 record at Oregon from 2009 to 2012, and he benefited from some of the best facilities in the country. I mean, you look at Oregon, and it's, if I was an 18 year old recruit, even now, it is hard to, doesn't matter who offers you to not just walk into those facilities and say, look, I can have this every single day for the next four years of my life. How can you not commit to Oregon? It is absolutely beautiful there and the facilities are top notch. But UCLA said, you know what? We've got some old facilities that need to either be changed and renovated or and or we need some brand new stuff here. And that's exactly what they did. Uh, the Bruins have opened a $65 million football center uh, before this season began, giving the Bruins a facility that rivals anybody else's in the country. So that brings up the question, after all of that, can Kelly have the same, if not better, success at UCLA than he had at Oregon? You know, one thing that's very interesting uh, is that most know Chip Kelly because of his offense. His spread, hot, or excuse me, up tempo, RPO offense. But Kelly didn't say he would if he would coach that similar offense for the Bruins. Kelly said schemes should be determined by player personnel, and that he was too unfamiliar with the Bruins roster to have any idea what kind of offense they might run. Now, while I think it's a little bit wrong to compare every single thing Kelly will be doing. Uh, compared to what he's done in the past in Eugene, that's exactly what's going to happen for the foreseeable future uh, as he gets started in L.A. Uh, but I do believe that Kelly brings a swag that Los Angeles is looking for, that UCLA has been dying for, that they've been somewhat jealous that USC has had. And now they have it. You know, Kelly's already been, of course, on the recruiting trail. He's been talking to five-star recruits, informing them on what he plans to do at UCLA. But he also has to have a similar pitch, a similar message to his current quarterback in Josh Rosen, who likely will enter the NFL draft because he's projected as a top five, top ten pick. Now, Kelly said he's already spoken to... Uh, Josh Rosen briefly Monday morning, but he offered no indication of whether he would try to talk to him into staying for his senior year. Quote, I told him when I met with him, I certainly want to be a resource to you, but it's going to be Josh and his family's decision, end quote. Now, I, I believe that, you know, again, this is looking very far ahead as this season has not even ended, but I do believe that Chip Kelly can take the Bruins to a bowl game. With or without Josh Rosen. I think they just have uh, the players and especially this recruiting class that they're gonna, going to have. I think he has the ability to bring in the right coaches, his own coaching staff, and succeed very quickly in a bowl game. Now, when I say a bowl game, I'm, already, I'm just talking about seven to eight wins and having a pretty solid bowl game. I'm not talking you know, going to the Rose Bowl or going into the college football playoffs because that's just ridiculous for anybody to say that. At this time. Uh, I mean, again, this season hasn't even ended yet. But I think it will take a little bit more time, probably a lot longer, for him to build a championship contender for UCLA. 
Uh, but I, I do believe he will have success and likely immediate success at UCLA. And a lot of people are saying, well, if he does bring that type of uh, up-tempo RPO offense that he succeeded at in Eugene, how is he going to run that with Josh Rosen, who's not really the most mobile? Well, again, remember, he had to make some changes because he somewhat brought that offense in when he went to the NFL. And even though it didn't work out the same as college would, as we all know it wouldn't, but he's had quarterbacks that were not that mo, you know, didn't have that same mobility as, you know, Darren Thomas and some of the other guys that he had at Oregon. But you look at Nick Foles, I mean, hell, even Sam Bradford, uh, and somewhat, especially Nick Foles, he succeeded under Chip Kelly in running that offense. So what Chip Kelly decides to do, if he brings it, obviously it's still going to be a spread offense that's guaranteed, whether it has up-tempo as it was at Oregon, uh, and somewhat what you are now seeing at Central Florida with Scott Frost and how he's running that offense as he's obviously uh, an assistant from Chip Kelly's days at Oregon, uh, and how if how he runs that offense, whether it's going to be the same like that at UCLA, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more of a pro style but still uh, very much spread and a little bit more up-tempo uh, that Chip Kelly likes to do because he knows that it's much easier to run that offense in college than it is in the pros. And I think he's learned a lot of his failures of the NFL and how to basically succeed more in the college game. So let me know in the comments section down below if you think Kelly can have the same amount of success in L.A. like he did in Oregon. Also tweet me at N46.